a complex series of actions is initiated as an aircraft prepares to land. Let's take a look at how the landing gear works. The main landing gear is attached to a section of the wing that has been strengthened to support both the weight and stress forces acting on the system. A hydraulic retraction actuator attached to the main landing gear strut rotates the gear into position for landing, while fairing doors pivot with the rotating action. When the landing gear is fully deployed, it is locked securely in position by means of a hinged side brace and locking stay with its own actuator. All these components unlock and fold with the landing gear for stowing. The nitrogen and oil-filled struts also act as shock absorbers during landing. An attached hydraulic shimmy damper serves to reduce any shimmy or shaking that may occur while under extreme landing forces. Each wheel has a heavy-duty carbon brake stack. Rotors sync up with keys on the inside of the wheel to ensure they rotate together, while stators are keyed to the axle and are, as the name suggests, stationary. During braking, electrically driven pistons compress the brake stack. The resulting friction is what slows the plane down. Excess brake heat can bleed into tire air, causing dangerous tire swelling. To prevent this from happening, the wheels have thermal fuse plugs that melt if the braking temperatures exceed 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit. When the fuse plug melts, air rushes out of the tires, relieving pressure and also cooling the brakes. Looking at the nose landing gear, we see it has slightly smaller tires and brakes than the main landing gear. However, it operates in a similar way.